David, we are hearing a lot these days, you know, identify your purpose, know your why. Why do you think it's important and how can job seekers use that? And I will add, is it important that everyone identify? Because sometimes we feel that people just go with the flow. You know, I go to work, I come back, I have family, that's it for me. But is it enough and should everyone have their why? Well, I, I would be as bold to say uh, that everybody does have a why. Mm -hmm. Whether we're aware of it is a whole other story. And, and there is something deep down inside that is driving us. And we might be aware of it, we might not. We might feel it kind of supporting and moving us in particular directions when we get that feeling of like, oh man, this feels really good and I'd love to do more of it. Or yeah, this isn't what I thought it was and I don't think I wanna do it anymore. Now the, the challenge is, uh, unfortunately, a lot of times we uh, we ignore that feeling and we continue to do it, uh, despite the the best efforts of that thing, that subtle uh, guide that is telling us, yeah, this is not not quite it. So, yeah, we I believe we all have a purpose, and and there is something that if we were to spend the time and and look at it and and. Uh, and explore it for ourselves, we would be able to answer a very meaningful question. And that is, uh, what do I want to really make a difference around? Where would I, I really like to, to make a contribution? What, what would I feel really good uh, that like my life's been a part of? And then start to pay attention right? What, what's showing up that is uh, potentially answering that and, and guiding you through that process. And I think for, for those who are in careers or in career transitions or starting something newly, when you do this kind of work, you, you have a level of confidence and certainty in your direction. You, you know what it is that you want. You know what it is that you don't want. You know what you're good at and where your strengths lie. You know uh, what those special skills and abilities are. Uh, and you know what, what doesn't work for you. And so in, in doing that, having that work in place, you're a, a much more valuable asset to an organization if you've, if you've done the work to get clear about what that is for you as opposed to uh, just being uncertain and, and exploring everything and not really being valuable because you you haven't quite found it yet and so struggling to to sort of find your place in a company or 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 role in a particular um type of industry like it it can it can leave you floundering a little bit you know wandering and sometimes i feel that people identify their whys but they have difficulty in implementing or because they are working and they cannot leave their job and do something they like how can they, they can do because there are, you know, demands of life, paying the bills, how can they struggle or have that kind of a balance? Oh man, balance is, is the, the magic word right there. So we tend to want everything right away. I don't know if you can relate to this or not. We, uh, we are optimistic and, and we have big, big dreams and big aspirations and we forget that it takes time. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and it doesn't matter who you talk to and in what, what role or, or, or what level of success, uh, they'll all tell you the same thing. It takes a lot of time. And so where do you want to spend your, your time, energy, and attention? Because that's our, our finite resource. We don't get it back. We, we don't get that uh, recharged in, in some other, uh, like some other areas. And so we spend the time on it, right? Like there, there's something that you want. Everything that's worth fighting for will, uh, will take something for you to do it. And I believe from your experience that we've talked before, so you were in the corporate world and you left and now you're working alone, right? Well, I, uh, I did do, a, a, I mean, a yes and no. I, I've always had the entrepreneurial drive. I, I've always wanted to create something for myself and, 
and help others in, in that capacity. And, and I did do some corporate gig work. I, I did find that I uh, went against the grain for everything. Mm-hmm. And, and for the most part inside the corporate world, they, they want someone who will fit a particular position, right? A mold. Mm-hmm. Uh, now, I, I do believe, depending on the type of industry, uh, how progressive they are, uh, that there is a, a substantial amount of room for flex and growth, especially with some of our, our young leaders, right? Who, who are not our parents running the traditional business model, but, but actually doing it very differently and, and expect that in terms of culture. Right. So yeah, for me, it it was a, uh, it was a taste test and, and it just didn't quite fit. And not to say that I I wouldn't join a a corporate gig, but it's got to really tick off all the boxes um, and, and do it like with confidence, not like, Oh, well, maybe <laughs> if it doesn't do that for me, I, I, I just already know that it's not going to last very long. Again, thank you for sharing David and for the audience watching or listening. If you have any other tips in terms of identifying your purpose or how to implement after you identify your core values, please leave it in a comment section, like, and share the video and tune in next time for another question with David.